I'm going to show you how to build and use housing districts in Frostpunk 2. Before we can build our district, we do need to frost break the area. That's this right hand button on the corner of my screen. You can see it says frost breaking, where basically we are going to actually unlock the tiles for use. So I'm going to break these areas around my generator here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I tick that. And now we're going to frost break that area. Let's say around the generator, we've already frost broke the area. I'm going to press B on my keyboard or click this button for constructing districts. And I'm then going to click housing district. You can see it requires some prefabs, scraps, and members of workforce. And that's how you construct the housing district. And it's also going to require 100 people um, as well. It will demand some heat and it will output 15 units of shelter. If you're not sure how much shelter you need, look to the top of your screen here. You can see we have 10 shelter available and we need um, 40. So the demand is 40, fulfilled is 10, unfulfilled is 30. So this is going to provide 15, so I will need to make two housing districts to actually have a sufficient amount of shelter. When I click on housing district, you can see here this area lights up as blue. And what you can actually see is these little blue flames. Can you see it says near generator plus 20 heat? So we don't want to make them out here because it will be cold. We actually want to put our houses as near as possible to the generator because that is where we have heat so they can actually be warm in their homes. And I can click one, two, and three, and four. And now you can see I haven't frost broke this area. And then I can go five and six. However, it does say near generator, one, two, three. So I've placed at least three near the generator and I am getting plus 20 heat. Once I've clicked all six um, quadrants, I can then actually tick this and they will automatically start building my housing district. Now, of course, I want to build another one. And I can click housing district again. And then I can click one, two, three, four, five, six and build another housing district. And there we go. Once these two have actually been built, I will then actually have a sufficient amount of housing then available. So if I just speed this up, we can see these are being built and all the tents are being built here, which is really, really cool. I'm actually loving Frostpunk 2 compared to number one. And there we go. If I just pause this quickly, we can also now click on our housing district. And you can see the requirements. It needs um, 100 workforce to actually you know, run the, the district. The able-bodied work eligible people needed to operate districts and buildings. And what we can also do is actually up or turn down the demand. See here it says total output 15, meaning it's giving 15 houses to people or 15 you know, amounts, I guess, the quantities of homes. Um, I can turn this down. It'll go to 12 nine, six, three, or I can completely turn off the housing district altogether. What you can also see is any effects this district is having on local districts. You can see area effects here affecting other districts near the housing district. It's adding heat. And I guess this is like penguins having the buildings nearby generates heat for local districts as well, because it kind of um, dissipates, I guess, into the local area. I'm not a scientist. I'm just guessing here. Um, and then we have this one here affecting. So basically, what districts are we affecting? What is affecting this district? And you can see here, being near the generator is giving us more heat and being near the housing, other housing district is also giving us more heat. So this is showing us what districts are affecting this one. We can completely deactivate it with this button as well. And we can also demolish it and get some materials back if we wish. And that is how you build and use housing districts in Frostpunk 2.